Welcome to another episode of Prison Murders TV. This is your host, Stony Rockstar, and today's episode is called Set Them on Fire. There's three G's when you go to prison that you don't do, and one of them is gambling. And some people, they try to be a big shot when they're not, you know what I'm saying, put up money that they ain't got, you know what I'm saying, and the minute that it takes you higher and you lose and can't pay, they're going to set your ass on fire. So it takes place in Sing Sing Correctional Facility. Those is on the gallery playing poker. And poker is a mind game. It's a game of concentration. It's almost like chess. Know what I'm saying? You try to outwit and outsmart, know what I'm saying, your opponents. You feel me? So one day, this dude, he comes into the game. He doesn't really know what he's doing. Know what I'm saying? Or so they do it. You feel me? So he came into the game and dudes just thought that they was going to to take him for a ride and just play him out of his money because he came in playing this game like, you know, he didn't really, you know what I'm saying, want to get into it, didn't really know, they knew he had money, but all along he was just setting it up to get it, wetting it up, you know what I'm saying, heading it up, you know what I'm saying, flapping it up, you feel me? That's the con game. So now, son get into the game. They thought that he was an amateur when he really was not. So let's get into the story. So it's on the gallery. It's a Saturday night. You know what I'm saying? Boxing is coming on TV. Mayweather getting ready to fight Ortiz that night. You feel me? So dudes just making bets on that. But let's get back to the main story. At the poker table, it's going down, right? So the dude, he comes in, and he purposely lost on purpose just to get dudes to think that he really ain't know, and he really put up a big bet. So dudes really thought that they was going to have him for the taking, but little did they know that he was about to rock and steal the whole motherfucking show. You know what I'm saying? So he came through, and dudes was like, yo, bring your whole, bring your whole creep, bring your whole commissary, your whole box, you know what I'm saying? Bring your whole bin, you know what I'm saying? So dudes ran up, and everybody got their bins, you know what I'm saying? And we just going to do this a big way, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? So then when he took everybody bins, and he won, and he smashed everybody, took everybody's money, dudes was tight, dudes was ready to fight, so dudes was like, give us a chance to get our money back, they was like, yo, you ain't got no more money, know what I'm saying, no more commissary, so, matter of fact, put up $300 each of your, everybody put up $300, they got $300 in your account, and I want to see your commissary sheets, I want to see how much money you got, know what I'm saying, if you ain't got it, then you out, so dudes came and showed their commissary sheet, and showed that they had, know what I'm saying, the amount of money that, know what I'm saying, that required them to get into the game, so, like, four or five people, you know what I'm saying? They trying to get their money back. But now, now we talking about you going to have to set that out through the commissary. Or you going to have to set that out. You know what I'm saying? Your people sending that money to this man's account. You feel me? And this man got a backup team that ain't nobody know because they already told him, yo, get into the game because we know you're a professional from the next jail that we was in with you and we gonna hold you there you know what i'm saying so dudes came up short they lost again so this dude he owed 300 dollars he owed 300 he owed 300 so that's 1200 you know what i'm saying that he gonna spend with his boys that's holding them down you know what i'm saying they put him in the game in the first place and they told him what time it is so he could con these dudes you feel me so it's going down and it's about to get brazy brazy crazy right so two dudes paid up immediately had their people calling and make sure that that money was there on the motherfucking books but one dude he was stalling he was trying to play a game and he was getting ready to sign in the pc and dudes got wind of it you know what i'm saying and about time you know what I'm saying lights was about to go out 
Okay, he was getting ready to go to his motherfucking cell. Somebody already doused his fucking cell with gasoline. You feel me? And put it on his motherfucking sheets and everything. So when he was about to go in his cell, as soon as he locked his door, somebody had a, a newspaper rolled up that was set on fire. You know what I'm saying? They doused him with a bucket full of fuel. You know what I'm saying? And then threw that motherfucking... Um, Lit, rolled up newspaper, you know what I'm saying, in his cell, and set his motherfucking ass on fire, you feel me, this nigga was up in flames like the motherfucking inferno, man, you know what I'm saying, like hell itself, you know what I'm saying, hell in the cell for real, you feel me, real hell in the cell, this nigga was screaming like a motherfucker, man, those screams are embedded in my memory for the rest of my life, you feel me, this man was screaming and the police came running up there and by the time they put him out with the fire extinguishers and stuff like that, this man was burnt, he was dead, there was no more screaming, there was nothing but smoke and stench on the company, you know what I'm saying, it was just a horrible, horrible sight, it smelled like that when the block for the next Two weeks smelled like burnt flesh. Feel me? So it's your boy, Stony Rockstar, signing off, man. And thank you for, you know, joining me on another episode of Prison Murders TV. This is your host, Stony Rockstar. And the moral, the moral of the story is don't gamble. Leave the gambling table alone. Be happy with what you got. Stop trying to be greedy and get more. Know what I'm saying? Than what you need. You feel me? That's it. So it's your boy Stony Rockstore. Salute, salute, salute. Signing off until next time. East side. <laughs> Oh, yeah.